So in this video, I would like to talk about how to use PPF, the production possibility frontiers, to compute the opportunity cost. If you still remember, um, we have already learned the definition of the opportunity cost in chapter one, which means uh, if you the opportunity cost of one item is what you must be given up to obtain the item, right? So here, how to use the PPF to compute the opportunity cost. So the examples in our class or in our textbook, it gives you the PPF like this. We have the computers on the horizontal axis. This is the numbers of the computers on horizontal axis. And that will be the weight quantity on the vertical axis, right? And based on the example from our textbook, we notice that the maximum quantity of the computers that economy can produce will equal to 500, right? And the maximum amount of the weight that the economy can produce equal to 5,000. So link these two dots here, we can have the PPF. Once we have the PPF, then you can notice this PPF is a straight line. So we can compute the slope of this PPF. Slope, do you remember how we can compute the slope? So the slope here of this PPF always equal to rise over run, right? So for the rise over run, we can notice we treat this one is our rise. So rise here will equal to 5,000. Okay, so write it down 5,000. And then the run here will be this intercept, right? So this equal to 500, divide 500. It will give us the slope here will equal to 10. However, you can also notice this is a downward sloping PPF, right? then we need to add a negative sign here, okay? So the slope here of this PPF will equal to negative 10. And how we will interpret this negative 10 in our economics? So we would like to say the slope here will equal to negative 10. And what's the economy implication of this negative 10? So this negative 10 here means if there is one more computer, if there is one more computer being produced, we need to give up we need to give up 10 tons of weight so you can notice here we says if you need one more computer then we need to give up 10 tons of the weight. So that will be this negative 10 will tell us. We can also say this negative 10 will also mean the opportunity cost of one computer. Is 10 tons of weight. So we can interpret this negative 10 in two ways, okay? So the first way here, we would like to say, if there is one more computer being produced, we need to sacrifice or give up 10 tons of the weight. Or we can also say the opportunity cost of one computer is 10 tons of the weight. But pay attention, here you might notice this negative 10 will represent for the opportunity cost of one computer is because of we put the computers on horizontal axis, okay? It's because of we put the computers on horizontal axis. So we can use this slope. We can use this slope here to get 
the opportunity cost of one computer. If if you put a weight on horizontal axis, the slope will tell you the opportunity cost of one tons of the weight rather than one computer. Okay, so this is the one thing I need to clarify. If you put the computers on horizontal axis of the PPF, then the slope here would tell you the opportunity cost of one computer. Okay, so those are some contents about how to use PPF to compute the opportunity cost. I hope you can have some better understanding about this part.